an espresso ricotta cheesecake. And it's no bake, so it's super easy. And I'm just gonna start on the crust. This is like a graham cracker crust that's just basic, but I'm using chocolate graham crackers today to make it a little more special. So I've got about a dozen graham crackers here that I have just crushed up. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of sugar to this, and then I'll add in that melted butter, and that's it. When you have parents who are both really great cooks, eating out is really a rarity, and we loved it, it was such a treat. And this is just mixing in all that dry ingredient with the butter until you get something that looks kind of like wet, coarse sand. I will say a graham cracker crust is one of my favorite things ever. I'm just gonna pour this up into my spring form pan. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. And then I'm just gonna press it down. I'm using just a measuring cup. This will really give you a nice flat surface. And the more pressed in it is, the easier it will stay together once we get ready to serve it. And that's just gonna stick into the freezer while I work on the filling, which involves espresso, so I'm happy girl. The first thing I'm gonna do is bloom some unflavored gelatin. And what does that mean, you might ask? Um, I've got a half a cup of heavy cream here. This is gonna help this no-bake cheesecake settle and be firm. And so I'm putting in a teaspoon and a half of this unflavored gelatin. This will help it soak up all that cream. While this is blooming, I'm gonna get to work on the rest of the ingredients for this part, and that's just a half a cup of sugar and um, a tablespoon of espresso. So blooming the gelatin is basically just activating that gelatin, and it's gonna just help our cheesecake set. I'm just gonna whisk that together while I'm waiting on this gelatin to bloom. So now I'm gonna add it into my sugar and espresso mixture, and you'll be able to see, see how it's kind of gotten thick on top there. That's it doing its job. And then I'm just gonna whisk this together over low heat. If you bring it to a boil or do it over too high of a heat, you'll deactivate all the good things that the gelatin does for the cheesecake. You'll have some lumps to begin with, that's the gelatin, but just keep whisking. All right, so this is nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna let it cool while I work on the rest of the filling. So I'm making cheesecake, and regular cheesecake basically just has cream cheese as the creamy part. I've got an eight ounce brick of cream cheese going in. To make it a little more in theme for our Italian day, I'm gonna also use a pound of ricotta cheese. This looks nice and combined, and I'm gonna add my cool sugar and espresso and gelatin situation. This is just gonna add a richness of flavor and be so yummy. Any form of cheese and any form of coffee. I don't know. And then I'm gonna add a cap of vanilla, teaspoon of vanilla. And then since I just added all that liquid, make sure you start your mixer back on a very low speed. This is gonna be so good. I mean, I think being a Southerner, it's really about, about comfort food for me. Italian food is just comfort food, it just is. Don't you feel better already? Really today is just me trying to impress my neighbor, Kathy. And I'll give that about two to three hours. And we're just gonna make a simple cherry topping just to finish it off. And I've got some cherries. These are Italian because you know, that's what we're doing today. Yes. These are just amarena. Can you tell me how you say amarena. it? Amarena. Amarena. Am amarena. Amarena cherries, which are phenomenal. They are totally worth it. And when you're done, you have this really beautiful little, you put flowers in this little pot. <laughs> amarena cherries are just dark cherries in syrup. And if you can't find them, you can just use frozen cherries. My godmother used to make those. She'd empty half the syrup and she'd put grappa inside and let them soak. I'm thinking grappa is, grappa a, is alcohol. Is liquor, yes. Okay. <laughs> they were strong, you had to be careful. Um, we're gonna add some lemon. Would you like to add the lemon to just slice sure. that in half and we're gonna squeeze it. Have you ever used a lemon press? No. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So just cut it in half. Oh, I don't have to do this? Well, perfect. Now you put the this side down like that. You squeeze? And then you squeeze. I had to learn myself how to use this tool because I was always thinking you put the round side down. I would think so. Because it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But you get more juice if you squeeze this oh, way. Yeah. I need one of these. You do need one of these. I got you. I'll <laughs> hook you up. So just half the juice of one lemon, and then we're just warming this through. This is like an elegant version of a maraschino cherry. It's like nothing you've ever tasted. Yes. And you need this in your life. Yes, That's definitely. Just, I mean, it's just the truth.
It's true. <laughs> so while that's warming through, do you feel like slicing this up or you want me to slice it? I do you want like it on the floor or do you <laughs> want it in the plate? It's up to you. I'll, I'll slice it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really good. I could try to help you. Thank you. <laughs> the first piece is always the hardest one. Oh. I'm going to give you the rest oh. of this bottom of this. This smells good, too. I don't want to miss any of that. Thank you. I don't want you to miss I any of that. I will have this. Yeah, it has a little espresso in it, and the ricotta just makes it a little more Italian. Yes. How about we drizzle a little bit of this cherry goodness over the top? Okay. Well, that's pretty. Just a little something, something. Oh, yeah. You eat standing up, there's no calories. That's right. Bon, bon appetito. Bon appetito, <laughs> grazie. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God. I am tasting every bit of the Italian flavors in here. The espresso, the ricotta, the cherries. It's amazing. I'm so happy you're happy.